maybe while I'm doing this, I'll just give everybody a rundown of uh, some of the equipment that I use and how to use it. Um, this you've probably seen. I've used it a bunch of times. This is an EMF detector. It detects electromagnetic fields. It has a certain radius in which it detects. Um, it detects in milligauss, uh, and it goes from 1.5 milligauss to 20 plus milligauss, and that starts in the green and goes all the way up to the red. So when it starts to read high, or if it spikes, that just means something unusual is happening. It's not always paranormal, it can be unexplained, um, but usually in the field, if we do have spikes, um, it may be something interacting with you. Um, and then I've used it for yes or no sessions, um, which it's proved to be really useful for a lot of people. You can ask yes or no questions, ask it to light up for yes, basically. Um, super handy tool. Never had enough tripods or batteries, that's for sure. Candles are great just because the natural light is said to draw in spirits, so you can see that, just a theory. This is very loud, but this is a new piece of equipment that I've got. I hear his cats. Um, it's called a REM pod. comes in contact with that, it'll make that super loud noise, which is great if it's far away. And it'll light up also. Brand new equipment for me. Gotta have plenty of lights. A twist top flashlight is always good. Um, it can twist it, turn it off and on for yes or no. It's always great to have a recorder, just a tiny little recorder, 30 bucks. It's very highly sensitive, so you can pick up things on here that your ears cannot pick up. Um, so that's great. Personally, I like Sage just to cleanse myself, um, not necessarily the home or the location. You need to know how to do that properly which I do, I just, sometimes it'll piss things off, so I don't wanna, but I cleanse myself with this before and after every investigation. Which, when you go in to investigations, you should absolutely introduce yourself and introduce your intentions. Um, I always like to say my name and say that I'm here in respect and that, um, I'm just here in love and light, positivity, um, wish no harm. I'm not here to stir anything up. I just wish to communicate. So it's always good to do that. And then when you leave, you need to make sure you tell everything firmly, not to follow you. And just be thankful. Thank them for any communication. Um, be appreciative, but always firmly say, do not follow me. You may not follow me. If you don't do that, you might risk an attachment. It's happened to me before. It's probably happened to, it's happened to a lot of people, but um, if you ever decide to do this, those are, protection is the number one most important thing. So. Um, the video cameras are spectacular. I'm using one right now. It's pretty great. It's got a microphone for it. That's pretty great. Um, so these are the cat toys I've been using. All right, so they're motion activated. 
you turn it on, it lights up. It does that for a couple seconds. And then when it stops, then if you move it, it does that again. I hear his cats again. They must know I'm playing with the cats. So these are great. I don't know who thought of this, but this is freaking great. And it, it's been, I'm using them all night, and it is the communication of choice for these spirits here. So get you some of these. <clears throat> These are dowsing rods. Um, they're copper. They're straight. There is a little handle that it loosely holds onto. You hold them at your waist, straight off the ground. They're originally created to find water, but they have been used to communicate with spirit. And the way they do that is the same with the energy manipulation, which either there's water under me right now or something's happening. Um, they're kind of hard to use if you're shaky. Um, it's really hard to stay still. Some people doubt these. People can pretend to use them, but um, I've used them before. If, if they cross, that can be a yes. You uncross them, and you can feel the pull. You can feel that. So these are pretty interesting. I didn't use them tonight, but I do enjoy them. Uh, I don't have my spirit box here tonight, um, but there is a new method of using headphones closing your eyes or covering your eyes with something to enhance your hearing. And then you plug your headphones into the spirit box, which is um, a piece of equipment that flips through radio stations quickly to give you white noise. And if you hear any words or anything coming over those choppy flips through the stations, um, that's when you've caught something. Um, but with this, you're not able to record what's happening on the spirit box. So I want to try one of these blind spirit box sessions. I haven't yet, um, but you, all you're able to hear is whatever the person relays from what they hear. Um, so they can have someone asking a question uh, on the side and they can't hear them. They can just hear what's happening in the spirit box and then they relay their answer. So, interesting method. I'd like to try it sometime soon if I can find my spirit box. So, make sure you've got all your chargers, batteries, rechargeable batteries are definitely a good investment. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Get as many cameras as you can. And, oh, speaking of, one other, one last thing, trail cam shoots an infrared, it is motion activated, it'll take pictures, and it'll take videos. It'll take 15 second clips, and um, it'll just snap, I think it snaps like three photos. During my investigation here, I had a lot of activity in the hallway to my right. And coincidentally, that is where this light anomaly is headed. Could it be related? Photos in a row which is great for paranormal activity, so you have consecutive photos to cross-reference. So, not that expensive. I think it was like $40. Um, these are great. And memory cards. Get a shit ton of memory cards. Um, the other thing I use is the GhostTube SLS app. Um, the technology is in your phone and in my iPad is which I use, is what I use. Um, it maps figures um, the same as like a Snapchat filter, which you can also use. Um, and, and the way it would capture your face on your camera, it's using that same technology. So I do use that. That was created by Amy and Jared from Amy's Crypt. 
one of my favorite paranormal investigative shows. So thank you so much, guys. I use it. I love it. Um, and uh, it's much cheaper than an actual Kinect SLS camera, but you can also build those. Um, not as expensive as buying one off the market for like $600. So yeah, something to also invest in. It's $2.99 a month for the SLS app and um, the Necrophonic app, another great one that I use all the time. Um, it is almost like a spirit box. It's a vocal data bank and it pushes out quick spurts of vocal tones. And then if you get words over that, that's when you've caught something. Um, and then the Perilous app as well. Um, it is a word data bank, so they can theoretically use their energy and manipulate and choose words out of this word data bank. Um, I've used both of these on a phone without internet these apps are said to not record you. Uh, I've gotten answers from questions in my head uh, that I'm asking in my head, not out loud. So I truly believe those apps to work. And with the theory of um, spirits being able to manipulate energy, it definitely lends the credibility of those applications, even though they're on your phone. Um, technology is pretty crazy these days. so. I do believe it works. That's just, I've had a lot of luck with it. Accurate, accurate communication, relevant communication. Um, and then the last thing, my new vest. You can't see it that well, but it has 16, on my vest, 16 pockets. And if you invest in a vest, um, you're not going to be sorry because it's hard to carry around all your shit <laughs> when you're investigating. So, um, yeah, that's it for the equipment. And uh, for all you uh, paranormal enthusiasts that want to become investigators, I just suggest that you um, move with caution into it. Uh, it is wonderful research, that's why I do it. Um, I'm curious and, and it is scientific research um, that I believe should be sh shared with people um, to give comfort and closure and, and just a, a different view of the world as we know it, um, you know, a different side. Um, but it's, it's something that deserves to be taken very seriously and it, you always do um, risk uh, attachments, uh, you risk, um, I, I would say being attacked, but you know, not so intensely all the time. It's not, you know, it's not super scary all the time, but it can be. So you have to be mentally very strong, you have to be healthy, and you cannot be afraid. Um, because that's what negative energies will prey on. So if you're looking to get into this, buy the equipment. It took me like two years to get all these things that I have. Um, no doubt I'm gonna get many more things, um, but I think it's a good base to start with. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great hobby for, for me. And I, as long as you proceed with caution, protect yourself, number one, you know, it can be great. It can be great. So thanks for listening and uh, catch you next time.